kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you? More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the um, And your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kooka. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, uh, all right, so the, we'll go to Patrice. Running and keep Mr. Calhoun going as well. So um, that's an entire shell that I do on the team. Awesome. And then we'll go with Larek. All right. So I am the uh, coach. I am the marketer. I focus okay. on making sure that we have a brand that we're pointing in the right direction with it and that the events that we pull together all the components that uh, that make them up i kind of work to design those to fit the industry that we're pointed in which is real estate and like i said mm -hmm. on the coaching side i work with our clients to help them to be able to grow their business and my main focus right now is not necessarily as much as the clients that are trying to do the fixes well but the speakers that are going to be on the stage are my clients I'm, um, supporting them and giving their products yeah. to you all or to people out in the community. Okay, awesome. And how do you? So, are you the only coach on the team? Uh, do you are you, do you have more coaches? No. no, everyone on the team actually wears a coaching hat in their area okay. of expertise. So, uh, Raven is an actual life coach she also teaches and uh, runs the youth education program within the organization wendy was pretty bashful and not sharing that uh, the room that she's in right now is one of her properties one of her launch homes that she developed uh in detroit and she teaches other people how to set those homes up and also how to be able to uh, so she coaches them and to being able to yeah. help them to uh, you know, even get into the group home business. And then Miranda helps and coaches people with the back office. You want to come down to administrative tools. How do you manage your business on a day-to-day -day basis with the administrative side? So whatever mm -hmm. each person is doing for the company, those mm -hmm. same skills are skills that you hear them teaching and holding accountable when we're working with clients. Most definitely. So. Yeah, Patrice helps so, finances, things of that nature. That's awesome. So I am, I'm very glad that you guys are doing this because I actually um, had like from the longest time, I I've always had a an idea, and this is the reason why I've started actually doing YouTube to get my story out there, do what I'm doing, and I want to help as many. Um, say young entrepreneurs as possible because one thing that we never got taught as a kid going through school is entrepreneurship and how to handle money okay and you know the thing is is that there's such a lack of education out there for the people going up that they think no no offense to anybody who thinks this but they think that the government's going to take care of them all you know that no matter what happens if something goes back the government's going to take care of and that's it's just simply not true you know when you start relying on the government it, it it's going downhill very fast because there are and, and no offense to anybody who is but in my experience the government is only out to get their voters and give just enough to get your vote and that's it you know to do just enough so, so, 
you're never going to get ahead by relying on the government ever. Okay. I, you can take that to the bank period. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so with that, I really like to hear, like, I really like to educate as many people. And that's why, that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel as well and doing my Facebook group. And that's why I tell people I'm an open book. You want to ask me, ask me anything. I'll, I'll answer it for you. No problem. I'll give you my personal opinion, you know? Um, you know, and I'll try to back it up with as much evidence as possible. Okay. But I, I'm not, and I'm not going to lean one way, lean left or lean right by any means. I leave politics out of it. Okay. I'm just being completely honest. Like, you know, business is business and you got to treat it like business. So the more we can teach young entrepreneurs how to, uh, handle money properly, and how to actually think like an entrepreneur, not think like an employee, think like, an, you know, think like, how can I replace myself and still make the same amount of money? Yeah. And it just keep coming in, you know? So one of the books that changes my, changed my life and probably changed a lot of it, even probably one of you guys or all of you is... The, yeah, I call it the entrepreneurship Bible. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, so, Rich yeah. rich Dad, Poor Dad. So, <laughs> now that I brought that up, that was my favorite book and what changed my viewing in entrepreneurship, in money, in all of that. So, I kind of want to ask each one of you, what, what book helped inspire you to get on the entrepreneurship path and... Mm -hmm you know, going forward. I'll start off with Lyric. What, uh, what book uh, inspired you from the entrepreneurship path and forward? So my book was Venice Bloodworth, Key to Yourself. Venice so, Bloodworth? Venice, B-E-N-I-C-E. -E. Okay. Bloodworth, Key to Yourself. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I was probably about twenty three years old, and it basically, in so many words, summed up what we know now in the Think and Grow Rich is is that whatever you think about most, that you can begin to produce, and your mind has the ability yep. to begin to produce and attract based on your thoughts and how powerful they are. And I once I understood that concept. It helped me to really begin to believe in myself as an entrepreneur, as an aspiring businessman. And that just drove me to do the rest. That book. Wow. That's awesome. So, you know, that it basically helped turn your mindset off or change your mindset. Is that right? Help turn your mindset off or change your mindset. So, I, uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit low signal from Lurik. It's because he's driving here. So that's all right. So, um, yeah. But yeah. Yes. All right. Awesome. So let's go with Raven. Raven, what, what was the book that changed you, your mindset, or yeah. changed how you look at things? Since you stole the one that I had, which was. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was, you know, this is going to sound a bit unusual, but believe it or not, the Bible. The okay. Bible has a lot of interesting concepts in um, that when it comes to money, fi you know, finances, and even entrepreneurship. And, okay. you know, some of the stories that you read and it, you know, it, it, if you really look at it, it really teaches you a lot about life. And it's like... You know these stories about you know the 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 merchant the, the you know the cobbler and things like that that own you know own, own you know I you know those things you know I broke them down in my brain and I was like you know what that's when you go into the stores and see other individuals they have their children in there with them you know yep. and so 
and I'm old school anyway, so that is something that <laughs> I, I got from the Bible and that changed my life. And I'm old school anyway, so that is okay. Okay. Awesome. So how about how about Miranda? What what was your book? Well, I thought of Rich Dad Poor Dad as well. I would say Spencer Johnson. That was Say a that book. Again? Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? Correct. I believe it's okay. Spencer Johnson. Uh huh. That um, I think that book was inspirational and reminded you not to get stuck. And I okay. think sometimes you're just a regular employee. You just go to work. You. And some people have goals. I wouldn't say people don't have goals, but you, you're you're more robotic. Yep. And it was to make you be able to sniff out and see when things are about to change or move. And I took it as uh, to not always get stuck. That when things shift, life shift, yeah, uh, time shift, knowing how to see it coming and make adjustments and uh -huh. keep and keep moving. Just keep moving and go find the new cheese. Okay, that's awesome. So, yeah, I really appreciate that, and I, uh, you know, that, that sounds like it's a really good book. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to start writing it's these a down. Really, it's a okay. very good book. It's not like okay. Book. You can read that quickly, and it's, it's powerful. I, it's, it's a great book. I think young people should read it. Awesome, awesome. So, I, uh, so we'll go with uh, Wendy. Wendy, what do you? What book helped change your mindset on? Um, financing, investing, to get you away from the employee mindset? So actually, it wasn't really a book. Um, <clears throat> I was sitting on a couch one day watching Oprah back in the day um, in 1996. Got love Oprah. And <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sorry, so it, it wasn't a book. And okay. I started a cleaning service. Mm. And so I had a job. I really didn't like the job that I was going to. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I want to be an entrepreneur. And I've always wanted to be in real estate. But I started off with a cleaning services. And I was doing residential. Mm -hmm. And then I started to do commercial. And then I started wow. investing into real estate, you know, houses right. and, and, yep. and some other stuff. So, yes. But it was watching Oprah Winfrey um, talk about entrepreneurship in 1996. That's awesome. So, so yeah, that that's really great. And it sometimes it doesn't have to be a, a book. You know, mm -hmm. honestly, it was hard for me to read books growing up because I actually have just dyslexia. And it, you know, I don't know. A lot of people don't know this about me. Is I have uh, dyslexia with um, reading, writing, and comprehension. So the reason why is is it takes me forever to read. And the reason why is because I have, that's how I comprehend. If I read it too fast, it just, it's in one ear and out the other, you know? So I have to slow it down. And some people even get mad at me for how slow I read, but that's how I absorb the information. And unfortunately, it also puts me to sleep too. So, <laughs> so I like a lot of audio books nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, but Rich Dad Poor Dad was the book that I read hands on. So that was awesome. Um, so Patrice, what about you? What book helped change your mind, your mindset? All right, you guys may not have heard of this book. Um, I'm going to share it anyway, it's a secret. I've been wanting anybody yep. else to hear about this book. But here we go. Uh, it was a book of life. So throughout my journey, in life, I've held several positions in corporate America. And to your point, Brandy, earlier when you were talking about the, gov the government, um, mm -hmm. how, you know, when things happen and things shift, employment, um, all of that can go away in a, in a blink. So that yes. is what I experienced in 2008, my first chapter in the book of life. At that time, I didn't know what I was going to do. I had two children. I was mm -hmm. I was laid off. 
and mortgage, you know, how am I going to survive? There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 